Hi, my name is Barbara Riggins. I'm the owner of Class Act Catering, and today I'm going to be preparing crab cakes for you. So, we're going to get started. I've got my lump crab meat. You always have to use lump crab meat. No imitation, always the lump crab meat. So, we take it out and we put it in a bowl. We try not to mix it up because you want the crab to remain as condensed as possible so you can get the texture of the crab and taste that crab. So we've got our crab in the bowl and then we're going to add some breadcrumbs, always unseasoned. We just want to add a little bit and then we fold them. You don't want to break up the crab, so you fold them into the crab. And then you got to kind of use your judgment on this. To me, this doesn't look like enough, so I'm going to add a little bit more breadcrumbs. I think that should probably do it. And again, you just want to fold the crab into the breadcrumbs. So we're done with folding the crab and the breadcrumbs. Set those aside, get another bowl out, add one egg. And we're gonna do about five tablespoons of mayonnaise. I always like to use Hellman's, nothing but Hellman's. That's probably enough of the mayonnaise. And then you take yellow mustard. You don't want to use Dijon. You want to use yellow mustard. Probably about two tablespoons. And then you want to add a little bit of white pepper. Probably about a fourth a teaspoon. And just a touch of Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. So now we're just going to mix it all together. And this is your binding for your crab cakes. Because you really just want to taste the crab meat. So I'm going to bring the bowl back over with the crab and the breadcrumbs. And I'm going to pour a little bit of the mixture in. You don't want to pour it all in and then you start folding it until it looks like you've got enough mixture in there to bind the crab together with the breadcrumbs. And to me, that looks like that's probably about all I'll be needing. Okay, and then the last step is you add fresh parsley. You always wanna wash your parsley, make sure it's dry. And I always use the curly parsley. I do not use the Italian parsley. And it's always up to you about how much you want to put into your crab meat. I like a lot of parsley. So I cut a lot of parsley into my crab cakes. Simply add it in. And then you fold it in. And then to bake the crab cakes, we bake them on 350, so I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to add them to my baking sheet. I'm going to put a little butter on the bottom so they don't stick to the tray. And then you take your crab cakes. And you don't want to flatten them. You want to make them round. And also very even. You want them to cook all the same. And I think they pretty much look the same. 
Okay, the only thing I'm gonna have to do here now is put a little dab of butter on them. And they are ready to go into the oven. You cook the crab cakes at 350 for approximately 12 to 15 minutes. You do not have to flip them. So while those are cooking, we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're coming back now, and I believe my crab cakes are done, so I'm going to get them out of the oven. Oh, and they are done. That is a perfect crab cake. Shut the oven off. Always remember to preheat your oven to 350, always before you start. And there you have a perfect crab cake.